Hello everyone, welcome back to more Crosswords. Yes, it's that time of day again. Uh, let's just start with a quick little mini here. An appetizer for the much more difficult puzzle we'll have for the rest of the day on Friday. No ifs, ands, or buts. Something spacious is roomy. Largest democracy, dunno. China? Not sure if that's really a democracy, maybe. <laughs> uh, tried by time, stall. What did I tell you? See? Iris is a flower. Comic Sans is a font. It must be India. Yeah. Vending machine drinks are sodas. Marathon has mile markers. And yeah, would guess this one only from crosses, really. Yeah, India. I don't know much about India's government, actually. China is like... A republic, right? Is what they, they nominally call themselves. I don't know. We Americans are not currently in uh, much of a position to take the moral high ground on what people call their system of government is. I don't know. I don't want to talk too much about current events, but they're not they're not great right now. Uh, sort of highlighting that they haven't been great for a while, I guess. Anyway. They go low when others go high. They go low when others go high. Also, there's no clue. Like I, one thing I realized is that uh, the Sunday where we had to like figure out that like the, the clues went up and then back down, I had forgotten that the name of the crossword that time was what goes up must come down. Usually they don't name a crossword. So if they do, it's like a hint. They go low when others go high. I don't know. Come to. Um, and I, an idea comes to you. Um, so it might occur to you. You arrive someplace. I don't know. One who goes into a seasonal rut. Uh, I don't know. Exhortation from a personal trainer. Um, they might say harder, faster, push it, try more, something like that. Uh, part of many an insurance bundle. Not a lean, right? That's kind of like, well, that would be part of a more, more like part of a mortgage. They might have a lien that requires you to get insurance, for example, but it's not part of the insurance bundle. Parisian hangouts, parks. But I think that the French way to spell parks, plural, would be too long to fit in there. More than a pair, a trio, I suppose. Skateboard piece that connects the wheels to the deck. Um, I mean, the deck is the part you stand on. I know what the wheels are. What's the middle piece called? I don't know. Spot for a campaign sign. People love putting those in their front yards. Mother hen. How about these downs? Things often drawn at night. Well, your blinds are drawn. Your shades, your curtains, those are all drawn at night. Um, maybe they're actually talking about drawing things? Moons, right? If you were going to draw a moon, you might do it while looking at a moon, which would be at night. Um, at you know the moon even more specifically uh, avoid a clash a ski lodge feature ski lodge feature what would they have at a ski lodge i don't know editorial insertion you say sick or i don't know you're supposed to pronounce that as seek i think it's sick 
quaint stationary shop item. Are they looking for something like a tchotchka? I spelled it wrong. Probably not. Because something it seems right here. And this doesn't seem like it should end with ST, right? Like, I don't know. They go low when others go high. Parisian hangouts, ah, oh, cafes. Just between you and me, question mark. So I don't think this is about secrecy. Although that's the most obvious reading of the phrase. The question mark here, <clears throat> yes, our, something that is ours is just between you and me. We, we co-own it. Um, put it in storage. I don't know what you do with something in storage. First name of the most selected author in Oprah's book club. Oof, I don't know. Part of many an insurance bundle. I guess ah, you would bundle up your auto and car insurance, uh, uh, house, home insurance together, or something. Put it in storage as to stow. Come to ah, cost. The stuff you've bought comes to five bucks, right? Because that's how much it costs. Who writes his name with five, four dots? I have no idea who this music star could be. Um, this is obviously Tony, but I don't know if it's I or Y. Probably Y, just like on average, a lot more Tonys have Ys in them. Probably. An au pair's specialty for short. Um, well, an au pair is like a live in childcare sort of person. Um, and you would think their specialty would be something to do with children, but I don't know how that like can start with T. M O. Well, the most obvious meaning of M O that I can think of is like your modus. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your modus operandi is your style. Um, cattle drive leader. I don't know. Warning during the Battle of Britain. <sighs> I don't know anything about the Battle of Britain. State of invincibility enabled by a cheat code would be God mode. One who gets, yeah, I wondered. I think this is a stag. Um, perhaps. Uh, I don't know exactly what this is talking about, but a seasonal rut kind of sounds like it could be referring to like animal husbandry kind of stuff. So I'm not sure. Um, cattle drive leader, some trail blazer, <laughs> um, trail head. No, but air like that, that makes sense, right? I don't know. What if this is, is there such a person as will I am? <laughs> right? I don't know. We'll see. Fish with a prehensile tail. That'll be a seahorse. Member of a chamber group. Um, I mean, chamber like orchestra or something, right? Is the most obvious meaning here. But what kind of musician fits this shape? And it could be something else, some other meaning of chamber group, like things that you typically have in a chamber such as a pot. I don't know. 
Uh, blank minimum. I was all set to write bear in here, but I bet this is at a minimum or to a minimum. Yeah, because to transport is to haul. They may come with a children's menu. Crayons come with a children's menu. Focus for a core workout, your abs. It has four legs and a head. Well, I mean a kid as in a baby goat. But I don't think that's what they want here. All right, what's with these long clues? Outlet for international travelers. Don't see anything obvious here. One whose work is always blowing up. So probably like a demolitionist or something. Doesn't fit with our current crosses, but. Or I don't know, a hot air balloon operator blows things up, sort of. Uh, many hotel shuttles. Guest some things. Escort down the aisle informally. Um, I mean... Who gets escorted down the aisle? Mostly it's the bride being escorted by her father, right? Um, informally. So this, I guess this could be the noun escort, right? The person who is escorting you down the aisle. So it could be dad or even pop. Those are pretty informal for a wedding. Um, but I, that just doesn't seem quite right. The other, like, also wed is like, I don't think that you describe the, the person who walks someone down the aisle as wedding them, right? That's what the minister or whoever does, the efficient. Lead in to op. A spy op? I don't think so. A traditionalist. Traditionalist. Ooh. Nothing nothing occurs to me here really. We have some downs, I guess. There's some crosses for the downs here. Okay, still don't know about this one. How about this? Sincere. Something sincere is earnest. Sis op, just like sis admin, okay. Traditionalist ending with a Y, that's interesting. Direction word back? Bear, as in like bear east. They'll wait for you while servers wait for you. They're your waiters. Um, ingredient in tempura, tempera and tempura. What the heck is tempera? Uh, eel, I guess. What recycling code 40 is used for? Well, there's a five letter thing you recycle and it's glass, so we'll try that. Like a very cold night, idiomatically. Hmm. A saying for cold nights? I don't know, we don't have those here. Uh, Mr. High and Mighty, I don't know. Shakespearean killer, an asp killed Cleopatra. Laugh syllable is probably ha. Hairdo famously sported by Lucille Ball. Goodness. What did Lucille Ball wear her hair in? Not a beehive, apparently. I don't know. Sacred city in Buddhism. I didn't know. I don't know. If you'd asked me if Buddhism had a sacred city, I would have said no. It's not like they have Mecca or something, right? Like, Buddhism is sort of popular in India, 
And Delhi is a big city in India that is five letters. But I don't really think that it's a sacred city of Buddhism, is it? Drama at the Tonys, say. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, we can we can pencil in Delhi, I guess. I feel like it might lead to more confusion than help, but sometimes just seeing an extra letter helps a lot when you're trying searching for inspiration. Details or details, right? This could be a verb. But I don't know what it means yet. Drawing of grass? Drawing of grass. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is about. Oscar winner for Little Miss Sunshine. I saw that movie a long time ago, but I don't know who won the Oscar for it. Trailer advisory. Um, well, the ones I can think of that obviously fit here are like PG-13 or NC-17, but we very rarely use numbers in crosswords. I would expect to have found one by now if, it, if, this, if today's theme was going to be you're like, you get to use numbers. Um, there's also the MPAA is kind of who who advises on trailers, kind of. They advise you, oh, you shouldn't watch this if you're five years old. Um, but it can't be that because it would have to be abbreviated in the clue. So I'm not sure. Do. Oh, didn't we had something that was... Uh, no, no, no. We had something a while ago that was like uh, until do, and that was to term. But I don't think we can use that same idea here. Something do, though, is owed. So that's a possibility. Proofing need in baking. Oh, what do you, what the heck is proofing? I don't know. Things often drawn at night. Avoid a clash. Uh, I mean, if you were putting on clothes that like were the wrong color, that would be clashing and you could avoid that by wearing different things, but I don't see how this, obviously we like, I'm not married to hen, we could erase it. Um, and, and I don't really like the double E here. It would have to be kind of a French thing, um, that's become so common in English that they, it would have to be a word of French origin, right? Not a French word. And I can't think of any like that for avoiding a clash. Ski lodge feature. Oh, you know what they would have in a ski lodge? They would have a sauna probably. But the, what the heck? They go low when others go high that looks like this? I was thinking it could be something like that ends with S-E, like, I don't know, geese. I don't think they go low when others go high, but maybe they do. But S-S? It's really hard to make something plural if it's five letters ends with S-S blank, right? All right, what is this all about? Dating... Mm, really? The only dating abbreviation I can think of that would fit this would be like in search of ISO, right? But clearly not, since the C and the E are both very good. ACE, is that an abbreviation? I mean, I guess there are people, right? I, I don't know exactly what the asexual community thinks of it, but I, I believe ACE is a slang term for asexual, and it's something you might mention if you were dating. And it's an abbreviation. Uh, B, C, D. Yeah, we can come back to this later, I guess. I, I, mean, I don't know. I'll pencil in an A. 
maybe also it means something else that happens to be an abbreviation, even if I am wrong about that particular thing. Um, cattle drive leader seems like trail something, right? Or track something. Let's see, I still don't know this warning or no pairs specialty. Direction word, yeah, back or bear again. Writes quickly. Does sketches fit? I don't know, I'm not really so convinced that sketches is even that great. It does though. No, it's too short, okay. Traditionalist, still don't know. Drama at the Tonys. Slight bit. Not sure what they're getting at here. Defensive fortifications, okay. Um, ramparts? That fits, and it's better than glass, I think. I think it's still only really worth a pencil, but... Colorful spot on a map. Yeah, I don't really know about that. What would be a colorful spot on a map? A marker? It's too short. Oops. Provide resources for... Hmm. You fund something if you provide resources for it. Short, short. Short, short. Um, this could be a short item of clothing, but usually those would be shorts. Um, it could be a like a shorthand way for writing, like a, a shorter, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Not exactly an abbreviation, but like a shorter way of writing the word short, perhaps. A short is something you can do on the stock market. I think a put is actually like, it's an option that's a bit like shorting, but I don't think that that would really fit in the crossword. And I don't think it really is a short, it's just kind of related. Um, abominable. Don't know yet. Asian capital on, didn't we have this one? An Asian capital on a river. Well, last time it was Agra, I think. Oh, it wasn't a capital, just an Asian city, I think. I mean, I'm, I'm not blind to the fact that this is five letters, middle letter might be L, right? It could be Delhi. <laughs> if I were wrong about this one, maybe it could be Delhi, I don't know. Uh, I do like Ha, though. A rest stop, metaphorically. So this could be a metaphor for like the actual place that is a rest stop, or it could be a place where you might metaphorically rest. Oh, or it might be where you stop resting. Hmm. Fifties president, question mark. Who's on the $50 bill? Uh, I'm not sure. How about over here? Okay, Politician O'Rourke, finally one I know. It's been a while. A garbage disposal unit. A, it seems crazy, but like a claw in, in like a dump, you might have a claw that is attached to a crane that helps with disposing garbage. That's not what you think of when you hear garbage disposal unit. Like they, they go in a sink, right? 
Um, what hits the high notes? HI notes. Well, HI is the state abbreviation for Hawaii. Is that relevant somehow? What else could HI mean? I don't know. An, an old European domain. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I bet I do know what they're looking for here. I bet they mean, ah, stop, the scroll bar's all messed up. I mean, they mean the SSR. Um. I don't know exactly how it, it, it relates to the USSR. Like, I think it's older. Maybe the USSR united several SSRs. I don't know. Um, proofing need. What do you? What the hell is proofing? Ghana? That's that's not in Asia, and I don't think it's a capital either. Fifties president. You you could also read this as fifty second like a, a unit of time that is equal to 50 times one second. But I don't understand how that could have anything to do with a president. So I don't think that's right. Just pointing it out is like another way to read the clue. Garbage disposal unit. Um, so it could be like the unit, not the unit as in like the thing that does the garbage disposal, like you would install a garbage disposal unit, but like a unit of measure that would somehow be related to garbage disposals. Like um, you'd dispose of one leftover meal at a time. And so the unit there is kind of like a leftover, I don't know. They're not, they're not, you know, leftover meals that you would dispose of. They'd be like scraps or something. I don't know. Kind of like how there was that unit of hope, uh, uh, I think on the, on a Friday or something, which was a ray of hope. Um, well, okay, back to the acrosses. I mean, maybe this isn't a sauna, actually, because... This, like, blank it, if it's a three-letter word, any with A, just doesn't make much sense. It doesn't have to be it, right? But... Skateboard piece, yeah, geez. But they would, they would have a sauna at a ski lodge, right? And it would be a feature. I feel like we made very little progress when we were going through this looking for downs. So unless I can crack some of the theme clues in the middle, this is going to be a rough time finishing. Things often drawn at night. See, like this HS, like, I don't know. I don't like this. And so was sauna really all that great? Mother. Things drawn at night. I'm just like so narrow. I'm like laser focused in on the idea of drawing curtains and just trying to think of a four letter word for a curtain. That doesn't really have to be 
what the meaning of this clue is, but I can't think of other good, like, what, what do you draw um, specifically at night? And if you like artistic drawing, why would it have to be done at night? What if it were skies? You draw night skies? I don't think so. What? What if an au pair's specialty were TLC? <laughs> I don't know if that's how I would typically describe it, but okay. Because then, like, we can have this kind of, and I, I still don't know if this is a Y or an I, but. Oh, yeah, 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 because a, a chamber group would have a cello in it. And now we have trail something, which is nice. An air alarm, sure. It has four legs and a head. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, a gad, like a gadfly? Not sure about that. H, I, J, K, L, lad, no, M, no, N, O, P, a pad, no, Q, R, rad, no, S, T, a tadpole? Uh, I could pencil that in. U, V, W, X, Y, Z, yeah, the others all suck. Cattle drive leader, like a trail team? I don't know. Outlet for international travelers. This could be a place where you go to buy something if you are an international traveler, right? It could be somehow referring to like electrical adapters or something. An outlet kind of, get it? Um, Oh, you know what? This could be a store of some kind. What kind of store? I don't know. One whose work is always blowing up. I don't like having these downs, the, the crosses that I have, I wish they were connected, didn't have gaps in them. It's much harder for me to like fill in gaps than it is to like say, oh, here's a sound that goes together. That seems like it helps a bit more. <sighs> One whose work is always blowing up. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, many hotel shuttles, though, are vans, right? A slight bit. What? Maybe this isn't a store. Because I, I like vans better, I think. NL kind of sucks, doesn't it? So does AE. I mean, there could be a word break between the A and the E, in which case this would be okay. But overall, I guess fans just doesn't seem very good. Slight bit.
trail. <sighs> trail. Trail. I mean, it doesn't have to be a T. It doesn't have to be an O. It doesn't have to be an S. They're all in pencil, but I don't know what to do. So I guess we'll just keep keep looking. Escort down the stairs informally. Did I say stairs? It's aisle. I don't know if I said stairs or aisle. <laughs> I just suddenly had the word stairs in my head. Um, and I wonder if that's because I said it. Um, <laughs> what recycling code 40 is used for? You know what else you use is you recycle its five letters is paper, I guess. Doesn't fit with ramparts, of course. A very cold night, idiomatically. I don't know. Mr. High and Mighty. I mean, this is usually used ironically to refer to someone who's like um, trying to take the moral high ground undeservedly. But I still don't know how to fill it in. Sacred City and Buddhism. I don't know. Details. I mean, details of things are like nits, right? If you if you pick nits, you're arguing about details, but it doesn't seem good enough. Uh, we uh, we do know there's probably an S here, though, right? And maybe that'll help with the down. Drawing of grass. So when I first saw this clue, one thing that I thought of was like um, sod, S-O-D, as kind of like, I don't know, it's not really grass, right? It's more dirt, but that is kind of like in a way drawn from a, a roll or something. But I don't see how that makes sense here. Garbage disposal unit, ugh. Still don't know this Oscar winner. Trailer advisory. Um, a trailer doesn't have to be a movie trailer, right? Trucks have trailers. Also, just in general, if you're following someone, you are a trailer of them. Um, so you might you might advise someone trailing you to like uh, not tailgate, for example, or that your your heavy load makes wide turns or something. I don't know. Do. Can this D do something, anything? Okay, so this is sort of interesting. This like kind of has to be a vowel, right? In order to, to fit at all with this very cold night. And what vowels can go before an A at the beginning of a word? Not A, E certainly can. I, it would be a big surprise. O, yeah, I guess, like oak. U? No, not really. So this is like an E or an O. And I still don't know how to fill in this word. Abominable.
Weird. Proofing need, yeah, I don't know. Like yeast is, you don't, that's something you need for baking, but nice. I don't think that's for anything called proofing. Gates? Do you draw gates closed? Sort of, but... They go low and others go high. That's such a weird clue. Oh, I briefly looked at this and thought it was stationary with an A and that I had been completely... Um bamboozled this whole time but no it's stationary with an e the kind you would have a store that sells like paper and pens and stuff i guess when i was filling out tchotchke here i didn't really think about like a stationary shop i was thinking of like a gift shop but what what do they sell at stationary shops that's a question i guess um they sell paper office supplies um Pens, pencils, markers, post-its, tape, probably, something tape, I don't think so. Okay, I'm happy enough filling in stag at least. Oh, give me a give me the pen back. Um, trail. I mean, it might not be a store, but I feel like the key is figuring out just one of these acrosses. That's the theme clues, and then we'll, we'll make a lot of progress all at once. But I just don't get it. Oh, I just got it. Okay. I was thinking, like, at, at an airport you would buy stuff, right? And specifically, if you were an international traveler, you would buy it at the duty-free store. Okay. Whew. Not sure how much that's going to help necessarily, but... It's a lot of letters that we just got. Direction word. Okay, it's now looking like bear. Something or vans, right? It's got to be vans. I don't understand this traditionalist. F blank blank Y. Stationary shop item. O T T Er, an ink blotter. An ink blotter would be very quaint. It doesn't fit! Oh! Oh, I loved it so much! Uh. But, like, more generally, this O T T. There's not a lot of kinds of words where that really works, right? It kind of has to be something that ends with ER, right? I think, or OM, I guess, some sort of bottom. Um, well, SRN is probably not correct, so I guess it's not ER. What if these are something service? Like many hotel shuttles are guest services. Very guest service. Doesn't fit. But it's a thing that lets us fill in the letters after V, after v without really messing up all the crosses. I th well, okay, actually, T-I-C-L is still pretty bad. T 
traditionalist. <sighs> One whose work is always blowing up. I mean, someone who makes bombs, they sure have their work blowing up all the time. Or a balloon artist. Oh. How do you spell balloon? <laughs> there's uh, there's two O's, but are, are is there, how many L's are there? I think it's fair to look that up. Balloon. Okay, it has two L's. So a balloon artist, if we could like cross out this M, although it seems very good, um, we'd actually be very happy. Let's let's pencil that in. I don't know why I can't spell balloon, by the way. It's just one of those words that I never quite was able to commit to memory. I can I know lots of exotic words. Um, but <laughs> Oh, a bottle, an ink bottle. I don't know what BCE means. Oh god, they got me. Will Shorts. Ah. Uh. It's not dating as in, like, trying to find someone to date, but as in, like, the year that a thing is from, right? Before Common Era. Oh, that's dirty. Okay, cool. Oh, the truck. That's a thing that skateboards have. Personal trainer would say, again... Yeah, plural of bass, like bassists, they go low because that's their their singing voice. Okay, avoid a class you agree with someone. Things drawn at night. Baits? Baths, you draw a bath. It was Mother Hen. Okay, Whew. that ink bottle really helped. Uh, yeah, so as I predicted, getting these crosses, these, these theme clues, is a huge help for the rest of the puzzle. It took Duty Free Store to start guessing that this might somehow be related to ink, and then Balloon, I finally figured out it's a bottle. And then the whole top left corner was, was resolved. Okay, so I think it is a balloon artist, right? But like, what the heck? Air alert? An air alert! Yes, okay, got it. It has four legs and a head. A bed has those things. A trail boss would be in charge of such a thing. Oh, it's not eel, it's egg. I was thinking, I just saw this is like the kind of stuff that you have at a sushi place and I was like, oh yeah, sushi, it's always eel, but no, it's egg. And these are vans, well, Oh yeah, whew, vans. Uh, a slight bit is a tinge. Is a stage something at the Tonys? I, I guess I, I think you could make stage play fit here because like I know the Tonys are like awards for plays and musicals and stuff. I was thinking of drama at the Tonys as being like at the Tony Awards ceremony what might be dramatic but they might be talking about like something that is at the tonys uh like a, a play a stage play would be at the tonys so sure something or vans i still don't get this This, this has several of the letters of freezing, but I don't understand how to connect it with the T. I don't think you can. I don't think that's really what's going on. Maybe this isn't SSR. Oh, is, is Lhasa a sacred city in Buddhism? Maybe? Old European domain. 
Still don't know though. <laughs> I don't even know where Lhasa is. Is it in Asia? Is it a capital? It's a mystery. Um, rest stop metaphorically. A base of some kind. 50s president. Ugh, I'm, I'm gonna be pretty sad if this doesn't help more in the bottom half of the crossword, having finally gotten two of those, those theme clues. Okay, remember also that this kind of has, oh, wait, it doesn't have to be a vowel. There's something you can put here to connect a T and an R that's not a vowel, it's an H. Three, idiomatically, like, is there some saying that you need like three blankets on a very cold night or something like that? Hmm. Probably not three bed, nobody can use three beds at once. Um, but okay, so this, this might, Abominable. Something abominable is hated, perhaps? Drawing of grass. Well, we have a couple more letters here. Maybe that's enough to get some of these down. Write quickly. Dashes off. Well, that's a thing people say, I think. Uh, defensive fortifications. I mean, barricades is way too long. Barracks is the right length, but I don't think that's a defensive fortification so much as like a, a place to house soldiers. Passenger vans. A fogey? I never would have spelled it that way. I thought it ended with an IE. Okay. Colorful spot on a map. A point of interest, a pin, something. I mean, this dashes off got better once we realized there's an S here, so that's something to consider, but escort down the aisle. It might, it might be some other kind of aisle, not a wedding aisle. The aisle is like pretty, calls it to mind, but that could be a, a trap. Um... What other kind of fortification might there be here that's other than barracks, which seems pretty bad? Well, I mean, you know what? It's not like I, I'm in a position to be picky. I've, I've had this very little information over here for a while. Obviously, like, it's not going to be correct while dashes off is correct, but... Huh. Uh, recycling code 40. Is it possible that it's used for green? Like green glass? Like beer bottles and stuff? I don't know. 
I, I like dashes off a lot more than I like barracks. Oh, oh, I just, I, I, don't, I had no idea this had anything to do with temperature, but I just realized three dog night is a thing that people say, and it must mean that it's so cold you need three dogs to sleep on top of you or something. Oh, man. Uh, okay. And, and a, a rest stop is an oasis. Asian capital. DHA, really? And GHA? Like, Ghana is, that's a, that is a, a word. What does it have to do with a 50s president, right? It is yeast. How dare you? I don't know what proofing is, but I guess you need yeast for it. Oof. What? G. I mean, okay, I don't know that it's Lhasa. Um, in fact, let's maybe get rid of that so I can see a bit more clearly the stuff that I believe is correct. Annie? <laughs> I don't think so. Little Miss Sunshine. It's very short for a name, right? Usually, like, actors in things are recognized by their first and last name, right? Um, like Tom Hanks. So it's sort of odd that you would have a name here that wouldn't, that isn't a first and last name. So if it is a first and last name, they're both very short. I don't know. Drawing of grass. I don't see any way in which a tree is a drawing of grass. Something net? No, probably not. Mr. High and Mighty. Well, you know what? Um, you kind of need an E at the end of this B. Probably. I don't know. You don't have to, but it would be it would be pretty common in just ordinary English words. His something. Maybe you would ironically call someone like His Highness if you were acting all high and mighty. Um, doesn't fit, obviously, but his could be correct, I guess. What, what if the colorful spot on a map were a pinhead? Like you had put a pin in the map? And it would be colorful, of course, and the head would be the colorful part of that pin. I'm not at all in love with this, but... Recycling code 40 is used for. Short, short. Jeez. E blank O is not a very good hairdo. I guess we have a lot here now, don't we? If this were actually correct. But A blank F S is not very good. A D blank F blank. Hmm. 
No, one of these has got to be wrong. Okay, well, I'm going to put Lhasa back in here, I guess. And Tama is like maybe a thing. A I M I E is a name, but. Oh, this is Grant. It's Grant on the 50. Har har, sure, you could say that also. On the Buriganga River. <sighs> I mean, what could even be an old European domain that's abbreviated this way? <clears throat> You know what was a, a domain that used to cover a big old part of Europe? The Holy Roman Empire. I don't know who Armin is, but I'm pretty happy with stage play at this point. Drawing of grass. I don't know. I feel like this has to have something to do with Hawaii, but I don't know how. Okay, well, I think I'm about ready to ask it to at least tell me how, how much I've got wrong. Okay, so it's an I. It was dashes off, and it's his something. Interesting. Uh, um, I'm not gonna get this. I don't think from these two crosses. They're they're names of things I don't know about. Escort down the aisle informally. Blank blank H. It's complete mystery. Colorful spot on a map. A colorful spot. I mean, every spot on a map is usually kind of colorful, right? They have countries and those are colored. Oh. His. I don't know. I think I have to ask for more help here. Details. Or details. 
Um, I mean, if you if you're telling someone the details, uh, I don't know. Trailer advisory. All right. Um, what are some things, some hints I could ask for that would not just give me the whole puzzle? I could ask about Lucy's hairdo. That might be interesting, I guess, because I'm not likely to get that anytime soon. A poodle cut? Yeah, I told you I was not getting it anytime soon. Short, short. Oh, like a movie, you can have a short film, I guess. That's something. Ah, to provide resources for something is to endow it. Uh. Oh, a trailer might be marked not safe for work? Really? That's a little weird. Okay, oh, ah, oh, I had it backwards. It's not a pinhead, but a push pin. Ah, oh, that's too bad. The details are info. Defensive fortifications are bastions. You could ush someone down the aisle. Ugh. Use recycling code 40 for steel, apparently. Short, short, lol. That's not really, I don't see what that has to do with short. Okay, well, there's only a few other letters that fit here, right? A, B, C, label? Short, short, I don't know. C, D, E. The day they start putting lel and lull in newspaper crosswords, I'll be pretty surprised. Anyway, F G H I Lil? Oh yeah, Lil is short for short. Little. Get it? His nibs. <laughs> uh Okay, let's try the alphabet over here as well. A B C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, Nibbo, his Nibbo? I don't think so. P, Q, R, S, his nibs? I don't know, that's the only one that's made any sense so far. T, U, V, W, X. Y, Z, yeah, nibs. Because this could be a, a scow, right? I... What is a scow exactly? I think of it as like um, a boat. It's like a small, it's like a barge, right? You might put garbage on a scow. Okay. Drawing of grass. A, B, C, <laughs> sorry, but like, I'm trying to figure this out without asking for more clues. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, toke. Oh, it's toke, right? When you're, when you're smoking weed, you're drying grass. Oh boy. Uke? I don't get this. Oh, a ukulele is a popular instrument in Hawaii. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> that very much deserves a question mark on that one. Um, I don't know. I could just go through all the letters on this one, but why, why don't you just uh, why don't you just tell me what it is? Reveal that square, please. Daka and Arkin. Oh, Arkin, yeah, that's an actor I recognize, I think. Well, I couldn't tell you the first name. Okay, so I needed a couple of hints to get through it, but I actually, I got, um, I got quite a lot of it without needing help, which I'm, I'm pleased with. Fridays are tough. All right, well, 
that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.